everybody, my names are Dendris, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. Last time, we went through the Harvest Fest. Or Harvest, I guess it's called, it's not Harvest. I keep wanting to add the Harvest Fest to it, but no, it's just Harvest. We went through that, and we had some fun with some games, uh, through, uh, but we were water balloons at a whole bunch of people, and they're like cardboard costumes. We we put on a play with B and failed pretty badly at getting the right li the right uh, words for that. But that's besides the point. We had fun with it nonetheless, and that was a whole lot of fun until we watched a kid get kidnapped. Yeah, that's how that last episode ended, and we ended up chasing them off this way. So uh, we're we're we gotta hunt them down. So let's jump into it, shall we? That was a strange way to. Hello there. Huh. May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No. May, now. Um. Oh, trying to go. Interesting. I cannot go back. I can only go forward. Or left, I guess, is forward in this situation. Trying to go right. Something keeps pulling you back. Interesting. This isn't. Is this another dream sequence? What are we gonna find at the end here? Uh. Um. We got rumbling. <laughs> well, that's gonna come out of that well. <laughs> We're into the truly strange part of this game, aren't we? Like, everything was up to this point was uh, weird. But, uh, it seems like we're in the strangeness now. Part 3, The Long Fall. Okay, then. I guess that was a dream. We're up. <laughs> oh, we got a... Shadows and shadow shadow figures in the shadow and the darkness of that well. I'm gonna play some bass, but which song? Nope, nothing weird there. Figured I'd double check it. I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, hey Gregory. Hey dude, sorry you couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Bam practice to yeah. Typo. Because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work. Bye. Hey, May. Thanks for so much for your help last night. I woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Okay. I'll see you too. Uh. Anything new in- Oh. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of Grandad. We need more of those. Anything change back here? Probably not, but we're going to double check anyways. Oh yes, we, only, we also need to check in on the rat babies today. Nope, nothing changed back here. Figured I'd double check it. Oh yeah, last time we also had a bit of a fight with our mom, didn't we? They're going, going to see if those things can't be smoothed out a little bit. Hello, bird friend. You're just like the same every day. What is your bird existence like? Do, do, do we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course, of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head-on. 
You're not losing it, dude. You are, in fact, keeping it very close. Mm-hmm. What happened last night is real. Someone got kidnapped. You're not going crazy. Um, we're all looking a bit older, I guess. We have to take, like, one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't ya? Um, hi, Mom. Hey, hon. Hey, Mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. Um... I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed, too. I saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. I want to talk about it. Later. I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. So, what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past, let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay? Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal. And I just feel so stupid. Like, they, they like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us. And now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy cow, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. What you're reading? It's a book of unsolved mur- Unsolvable? Did that say unsolved or unsolvable? Unsolvable murders or whatever. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, sure. Wanna hear a real teaser? Sure. Alright, there's a man lying dead in the kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there is one answer. I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. Uh, about murder? You should have been a detective. About murder? Can't solve a murder without one. Okay. So I have a question. What kind of scar did the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? What else is in the room? What kind of scar is it? It seems kind of important. A straight line, a few inches across, hidden under the hair. Hmm. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he has blood on one hand? Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a pick of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right about now. Always work for crime solvers. Alright, I'm gonna get going. 
Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Yay! Mom! <laughs> Still funny, though. Meats. <laughs> Just adding a little picture of a dead person next to the mom picture. Okay, I guess it works. <laughs> Oh, there's so many weird things in this game. Well, we're back into the town. Still can't go this way. I'm gonna keep trying every day or two. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I gotta go. I gotta go shoplifting to feed the babies again. Hey, Somers. How's it going, Somers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up stuff that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Well. Yep. Wanna hear a new poem? <laughs> yeah, sure, Helmer Salmers. Autumn wins, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. What? What counts as an autumn sin? Cheating on your wife with some gas station skank? Ugh. Okay, then. <laughs> Read that one before I even realized what it said. In November. Oh, right. Yeah, that's, uh, inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Chazkov. Yes, Selmer? Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. <laughs> oh, you got one more thing to say? Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. The voices are never consistent. I apologize. They will never be consistent. Let's try that. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Let me just varnish the sport yourself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Too bad. Bounce. I missed. Tad getting the third bounce so I could just hop right up to the wire. We gotta visit Mr. Chazikov. Ha, we did it. I do not have an easy path up fr from here, though. I have to go all the way across. Uh, we're, we're gonna make it to you, Mr. Chazikov. Give us just a moment. Up up here and over here. And rooftop jumping. Leap of faith! Ah, leap of faith! <laughs> hey, Mr. Chazikov. Ms. May Borowski. Present. Hmm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss. Hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, wanting to see some stars? Yeah. Come have a look. Ah, I'm blind! This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Oh, right on top of one. That, was, that one was pretty easy to found. That's a find. Found one. Let's see. That's a serpent. Big snake. Big snake, fitting name. Yep. Anything else? I saw a big snake once. Anything else? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same. Big snake. And they came together, and together slew the... Big Snake. You learn. Why did Big Snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the Big Snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying Big Snake? Big Snake. Big Snake. Big... Snake. Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not much to that one, it's just a big snake, huh? Okay. <laughs> Found it. Ah, these two were pretty easy to find. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. 
Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy the medium. In life he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. How did- wait, what? <laughs> that's just called being alive. Not so, his body was dead. So, he was like a zombie who could speak? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. So, like normal. But he smelled bad. Just show. Just. Sh just. Just so. I. Why did I. I kept wanting to say show for some reason. Blech. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So, what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral. <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> willikers? Those are... Wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple days. That was a weird pairing of stars for today. Big Snake and Gramercy, just... A, te a technical zombie, I guess? Sort of, kind of, not really. And, uh... <laughs> and, and a Big Snake, that's, that's all there was to the other one. A Big Snake that tried to eat a bunch of villagers and died for it. Okay. <laughs> Anything new on there? Oh, we just, uh, we've just gotten rid of the pamphlet for the other one. <laughs> we... I will never get old of this! Anyways... Um... Let's shoplift a pretzel. <laughs> Guess we gotta feed the rat babies. Oh, hello, it's you. You're the one who was going to tell us about our grandfather, too. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Here we go. I'm getting a little bit more adventurous with this this time. I say as I see the eye move and instantly pull back or stop moving. Eh. Oh, that one was close. Got it. This is unfairly easy now. <clears throat> Thank you, the rat babies will be happy. One pretzel is enough for my tiny rat darlings. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey, it's May. I remember old clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. What did you want to tell me about Grandad? Well, I'll only say if you really want to know. <laughs> Yeah, I do want to know. Is it scandalous? Is it scandalous? Oh, I don't think so. I'm old enough that nothing feels scandalous anyway. Is that a thing that happens when you get old? <laughs> Depends on the life you led. Okay, anyway. You got a history of troublemakers in your family. On your daddy's side in particular. Oh? Go back far enough, you got folks that were around for the real hard times. And when the workers went up against armies. Oh yeah, I can remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandpas, whatever. I might have gotten the number of greats wrong there. Your grandfather and I weren't around for a lot of the violence. That was before even our time. Nah, we were around to watch the tide roll out. Hmm. Uh, and I was about to say just sudden dramatic pauses, I guess. We'll need to talk again another time. I get tired. Oh, okay. Can I get you anything? I don't have any money. Nah, I'm just fine, May. We'll talk another time. Okay, see ya. 
thank you for the part of the story, I guess. Anything else hiding down here? I don't... Oh, hello there. Hey, uh... Kind of a weird question, but... Is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh... I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. I thought I saw something. Okay, uh... You should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Ugh. Anyways, bye. Figured I'd check in with you. Anything else down here, or are we good to go? Oh. Huh. Holy cow. The dudes. Someone hacked up the dudes. Who did this? Why did they do it? Nuke. Nuke, pause, and then it's just completely like, yeah, okay. Thought. Nuke Possum Springs. Interesting. Oh, oh, how did I miss the stairs there? What the? Go up. Thank you. Anyways, um, let's go feed the rat babies. Then we're going to, uh, oh, actually you too. It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. Okay, then. Let's get, let's say hi to Greg real quick. I'm going to run out this way real fast and see if there's anything, like, hidden over here now. Oh, hello there, friend. Oh, we can keep going now. Hmm. Hey, dude. Hey, you uh, working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question... How did they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Grillman and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, bye. Let's set out this way, I guess. The heart of hometown since 1972, I think. That's the food donkey. Okay. Thought I saw something for a split second there. Hi. Hey. Sup, kid? <laughs> you smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Um, yeah. Oh, weird. That, like, makes you half cop. You'll never half cop. You'll never hatch cat. Half. Ugh. Words are hard. You'll never half catch me, half, half copper. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Um. I don't know what they're doing here. Uh-huh. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had a kind of weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, a thrash crossover, hip hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like the Doom stuff, huh? Right? Da da derga. Totally. Uh, what? You know, one time a guy followed me home, like a guy from the tracks. What? Okay, whatever. I gotta get going. Um, what did you do? It was like some night back in the summer, and out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. Like, I didn't want to look right at him. Uh... I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him stand a gesture off the road, waiting for me to come down. Oh my god. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it was a weird bad time. 
Uh, I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. Bye, friend. Oh, I might need a moment after that one. But, uh, not, not a huge fan of the voice I chose for him. For them. Um, hey, Aunt Molly. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone. Like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here. Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right, thank you, May. I knew you were just going to brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Heck, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this, this re right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing. Uh, any theories, May? I mean, if they're strong enough, they could have just threw the kid over. If they picked up the kid like it was nothing, they probably could have just thrown them too. And then climbed up over after them if they were knocked out. Um, they could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. The fence goes all out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. Would you be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence? Uh, I was running around half the night, getting after teenage garbage, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I, you, you, mm. Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now. It must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No, yes, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some weird looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That's it. <sighs> the cop always dies. Okay. I I was I was kind of seeing if I could do a triple jump over the fence, but no, it doesn't look like it. But that doesn't look. Eh, it looks like it might be a little difficult to jump uh, to climb over. So maybe I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm assuming what we saw was real, and it's just people not believing us. But uh, yeah, we'll see you later on, I guess. Um, what do we still need to do for today? Let's, we need to check in with Greg, we need to check in with B, and we need to go check in with the Bruce and the little Bert, the little rat friends. Let's say hi to Greg real quick, and then I'll just, like, jump over to the others. Sup, dude? Uh, uh, long nights, weird nights. What's up? I'll tell you what band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. Just saying hello. Hello. We'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll see a brand pa brand band practice in just a little while, Greg. Anyways, let's over head over to B. We'll head over to the Rat Babies, and uh, then we'll continue from there. So I'll be right back. I'm I'm did not make it far. At least he gave me a second to like uh go get some water real quick. Whoa, is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, Pizza Palace. Oh, that was it? Okay, also completely forgot about Angus. So, um, hey, where are you here? You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Anyways, bye, Angus. Anyways, 
let's ma start making our way up to the rat babies, shall we? I'll see you in a moment. Wait, no, B's right here, isn't she? Well, we're gonna run into B first, and I might as well not even cut. It's just a couple of feet over. Hey, B. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after, though. How so? Tell you later, I guess. I still like putting it together. Oh, well, well l let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt Greg down. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. Feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. <laughs> when you sometimes just say something and don't expect it to make sense and don't really know what it means, but it still works, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, let's head up to the rat babies. So today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will, I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in and we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Coffee. Smoking. Coffee. Smoking. Okay. Little bits of flavor text here and here, here and there. Anyways, let's head up to the Rat Baby, shall we? We actually have a new line to tie look here, apparently. Plastic flowers are, like, super depressing, for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Whoops, hit my mic. Oh, that's it? Okay. Anyways, let's feed the babies! I also keep forgetting about our little anthropomorphic rat friend. Alright, my little miracle rats, time to eat. Are there four of them today? Got one? Oh, there are. Hello there. Gotcha. Oh. oh, wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore. And you'll leave. Well, I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other. Oh, I love you, miracle rats. Oh, I, I love I, I love their little rat friends. I love this whole mean like, it's an immaculate conception of all these rats, yay! <laughs> Anyways, let's head out. And start the climb up to our other rat friend, shall we? Uh... This is the right way, yes. I forgot. Oh, that was close. I forgot how to get up to this friend for a second there. It's raining, it's pouring. Jumping up to meet a friend. <laughs> Did you go to Harfest? Yeah, uh, I ended up in a play because my friend, my friend B screwed it up. Cool. I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Cool. Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from like 1980. Lots of blood, but it's like theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school, bunch of ghosts kidnapping them, taking them to the, uh, to the Blood Gorgon? Yep. Um... Is something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Well, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. Um, I mean, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, full town full of suspects. Anyways, bye, friends. Bye, Lori. I keep forgetting your name. Anyways, now let's go see Bruce, and then we'll head off to band practice. So one second.
Hello, you two. I don't feel right about it. I know. Well, I just interrupted this talk. I know, but something has to be done about it, or something like that. Hey, hey. Hey, again. Hey. So, I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza, and I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south, and I had to keep up with the other gooses or I'd get lost. That's sad. Twarn't a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About... About Bruce here. Ugh. Wow, that's intense. Read appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Good luck, my friends. I guess we can pop in to say hi to our mom real quick before heading to band practice. So, one second, one more conversation to had before... One more conversation to be had before... Um, uh, music time. Hey, mom. <laughs> hey, church mom. Hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. Like, come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does, too, mostly. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hon. There's more grace than condemn condemnation. Kinda. Whatever. I'll write him out. See you later, sweetie. Bye. That I keep forgetting there's a step there, so I keep going here and it stops me and I was like, oh, is there another cutscene happening? No, every time. Anyways, let's go to band practice, shall we? After getting guilt tripped th pretty thoroughly right there. Hey, Greg, let's head off to band practice now. We're gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. I hope this isn't a super long one. I just looked at the time and realized we only have a few more minutes left. Hey, you lot. Actually, this might be a pretty good place to end it off. We'll do uh, all of this conversation next time, just because I don't know how long this segment's going to be. It could go for like another 10 minutes, and it'd be a pretty long one. So, uh, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.